Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Sammy. I do DIYs and wood signs and I love it. I am participating in the, what is it? It's not trash to treasure, using trash to create treasure. And it is a challenge hosted by um, Casey with at Coffee With My Sunshine and then co-host is Heidi Sambol. DIY. So I'm going to be taking things that you would normally throw in the trash and I'm turning it into treasure, useful things that you could use around your house or possibly outside. The choice is yours. So if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and to hit like and please do not mind my hair y'all. Oh my gosh. I tried it down. I tried it up. I tried it in a ponytail. It's just a hot mess. Okay. Enough of my hair, onto the video. Our first trash to treasure project are gonna be these three beautiful planters. They turned out absolutely amazing, you guys, and I'm so excited to share how I made these. So our first one is gonna be a spaghetti can, and I'm just taking twine from the Dollar Tree and putting just a tiny bit of hot glue on the back of there and i am going to wrap this around but i'm going to do it on the little inner part of the ridges of the can if that makes sense so i'll show you right here i'm going to go around and then once i get to the back again i'm kind of going to go down one little notch and then continue wrapping now for this project you do have to hot glue a little tiny baby spot on the back of each turn and that is because if you do not then your twine will end up moving and it will not stay in between those ridges um i struggled with if i wanted to do like rust effect on this and i'm so glad i didn't because it really makes the the aluminum pop through so we're gonna keep on wrapping this down, hot gluing it. Make sure to keep your hot glue in one area. That way there is a back to your planter instead of having little hot glue dots everywhere. And then we're gonna speed this up because I do not think you want to uh, see me go around and around and around and around. And I mentioned this in majority of my videos, but those little finger protectors are absolutely amazing. Three pack, Dollar Tree. And the twine that I'm using in this video for my three planters is also from Dollar Tree. And here we go, let's speed through. I hope you guys are all enjoying your day. I hope you enjoy this video. Please hang out till the end because there's the cute little video at the end for you guys. It'll definitely make your day. Okay, so now we're going to cut that end off. And I just made sure to hot glue my end piece over there. And this looks so good. I love that you could see the shiny aluminum through that. But we have an expiration date on here, which I did not want showing. And at first I tried rocks, didn't work. So then I'm taking some leftovers and this is just from the Dollar Tree rope. I took it apart and braided it and I use this for another project, which I'll link above. And we are going to hot glue this to the bottom and to the top of the can, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And like I said, I did try rocks, but for some reason the rocks would not stick to the aluminum. I don't, I don't know why, but I'm glad it didn't work out. Everything happens for a reason, right? Because this ended up turning out great and I was able to reuse something that has been sitting in my craft stash for a little bit. So after that, you are done with this planter and we're going to move on to the second using a butter box. If you guys don't have these, I don't know what you cooking with. Okay. I am taking um, some gray matte spray paint. I do give the outer box two coats and the inner part just one coat just so you can get where you might see um, once you put plants in. And then you guys, I realize I'm not recording, but that's okay because it's pretty simple. 
I just glued to the back just like I did with the first project and I am just wrapping it around over and over and over again and then I mean every so often I will put another little dab of hot glue there just to keep my place because I wanted this to be kind of tight and it kept on wanting to move down the little container. So we are going to keep wrapping this around until we have basically an inch and a half or so left on the bottom half. And you will see why. And then we're gonna finish that off. And like I said in the previous one, make sure your glue stays in one section. Now I'm taking these Dollar Tree little wood pieces. This is my first time using them and I loved them. I am going to be adding three of these branches to each corner of our container with hot glue. I try to kind of vary the colors up just, you know, to give it more, I, was, I don't know what I was going to say, visually eye catching. I don't know you guys. All right. But I love adding extra because after this, I'm going to add more because it's okay. Guacamole, I'm extra too. There we go. And we're going to add those to all four corners. And there we go. Gosh, that was fast. Superpowers. Now we're going to take our Dollar Tree pebbles, rocks. And I'm actually surprised with how often I've used these. And it is very calming to me to try and kind of fit them together. I love doing this. I did this for a Father's Day project and just sat down in my work area and just enjoyed the quiet and piecing these together. So we are going to put these on all of this gray um, bottom and we're doing it all the way around. And I'm also going to speed through this section because it is time consuming and I don't think you want to watch all of that. So as I said, most of this stuff is from Le Dollar Tree, which I live at. I love going to different Dollar Trees, you guys. Okay, there we go. I got my little helper here. He seems to be in most of my videos because he cannot stay out of my work area, but that's okay. Maybe he'll learn something and he'll be like the crafty DIY guy or something. If you guys have not watched his videos, he's hilarious. Look at how pretty that looks. So much texture, dimension, it looks amazing. I did not know where I was going with any of this, you guys. So once everything came together, I was very impressed. Okay, next we are taking a salsa jar. You guys, this is guacamole salsa from Walmart and it is so good. This reindeer moss, which y'all, uh, I've never used this before and one I am taking that out slowly because I'm like holy crap that is real and why doesn't anybody tell you how bad it stinks I mean this stuff is stinky let me tell you yeah mm. it goes away though you get used to it and now I'm just cutting it kind of chop chop chopping it up into smaller pieces so that we get more out of it one and so that we don't have these huge bulky pieces sticking out and then all we're doing you guys is hot glue in little sections at a time and then sticking some of that reindeer moss on top of it and we're just patting it and I don't it doesn't burn or anything like that the reindeer moss is pretty thick and it doesn't really come through either and you're just going to repeat that step the whole way through. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm like, this is not looking how I envisioned it. Like I envisioned it like flatter, smoother texture, I guess. And this thing was looking like, like a crazy mama hair day. Okay. And I was not feeling it. But then I think to myself, you know what? I wonder if we could like trim this maybe like a beard. So I just keep going with it. See how it's going to go. I'm still like, okay, this is poofy. So then I decide to take my scissors and kind of trim it up like a beard. And voila, I finally, it, it's coming together. I'm like, okay, this is what I was thinking. It's a lot smoother. It's not so 
bushy with like branches sticking out everywhere which you guys this stuff has branches in it too i thought for one minute there was going to be a bug to pop out of this reindeer moss i was scared for my life but i'm safe i'm okay don't worry about me and you guys we are done with that part and now i'm taking the twine because we gotta tie everything into each other and it's the same cost concept as the two previous ones we're just hot gluing a little dab to the back and then wrapping it around wrapping it around wrapping it around um i love how they go together with just a simple detail like the twine so you know that they're gonna look great together and i love that we were able to bring the outside elements inside and to be honest, like I said, I did not know where I was going with these projects. I almost didn't even make this reindeer moss one. And I'm so glad I did because it's kind of becoming a favorite for me. And this will look good in my house no matter what season it is. So there is that. So cute. Ooh, I get so excited when I see them. I gotta like pat myself on the back sometimes because you never know what you can do when you just put your mind to it. And now I'm taking these greens, you guys. And I got these from Walmart. They finally stocked back up. And they are called, I'm digging in my bag right now. I'm sorry. It just says greenery picks. So one almost looks like a fern branch. And another one looks like, I don't know. And then these look like know some tropical bushes but they fit perfectly all I did was bend up the wire and look so pretty trash for sure to treasure and our second project you guys mm, okay all I did was use a dog food cardboard box I've been saving this anybody else save trash because I certainly do and I am taking, this is actually rope from uh, Home Depot, but you can definitely use the nautical rope from uh, Dollar Tree as well. This is, I think, a little thinner than the Dollar Tree rope though, but either way. So I'm hot gluing the bottom of the cardboard and I'm gonna go around. You need to make sure to put, like not a generous, but like a good amount in your corners. You don't want it to like, come up and get all over your rope but you need to make sure that you are pushing that rope into those corners pretty good and just holding it there for a minute because if you don't they want to pop back out before they can dry and if you don't press those in pretty good then you're going to have a bunch of gaps in your tray so you guys, this is super time consuming. If you want something that you can just shut your mind off, relax, and not be in your own head, this is definitely the project. No joke, it took me over an hour to do this. So you could only imagine how much cutting of the video I had to do. I was like, nobody wants to watch this for an hour. Even midway through, I was like, why did I do this? But once I saw the outcome, I was like, that's why you did it. It looks pretty awesome. Um, so you're just going to continue that round and round and round until you get to your center. And then I will slow this down and kind of show you how we go on to the inside uh, walls of the box and the outside. I do end up using two different colors, which originally was only because I ran out of this like natural looking color, but I'm so glad I did two different colors because I felt like it added more dimension to it and it was just visually more appealing than doing one natural color. Didn't want it to look like a, a one dimensional wicker basket, you know what I'm saying? All right, and then we just are putting those in, tucking those hard in. There was like a little, little gap, so I just cut a little piece off, stuffed it in there, put some hot glue on, we were good to go. So I'm going to take more of this rope that I got from Home Depot. It is, I, I think it's a little less. You get 50 feet in a roll and I think it's $7. So uh, I think you're getting more for your money. But 
I'm not sure. I haven't calculated it. Okay, so I am putting the hot glue kind of like in between the rope and the cardboard. That way the rope could adhere partly to the cardboard and partly to your rope. And we are doing the same exact thing we did to the bottom, pushing those corners in so that you don't have huge gaps. And we are going to wrap that around you guys. All of this is gonna be basically the same process. It's just time consuming, but beautiful. What kind of crafts do you guys do um, to kind of like shut off, escape the world, turn off your minds and just be? Cause things like this are perfect projects. The like rock thing, I love it. Cause I'm just kind of focused on fitting those pieces together. All right, now we're getting to the top and all I'm doing is now I'm putting the hot glue on those the ridges of the cardboard box. And now I'm just basically traveling down the side. And again, I am trying to keep the hot glue partly on the cardboard and partly on the rope. That way it's adhering to both of them. And it'll be more stable, more durable. And you guys, this thing is heavy. I am like not even joking. That thing is heavy. And then I am going with elephant gray chalk paint and I'm covering up the bottom because the red still shows. There wasn't enough room to add another layer of rope. Um, the foam brush does not get in all these little crevices in between the rope. So I do get a smaller um, paintbrush. I finish up the bottom and then I also chalk paint two rows up from the bottom of the rope. And at first I wasn't going to do it, but I'm glad it did because I'm going to say dimension a million times in this video, but I like that it's not just one color and look at how beautiful you guys, I, nobody would ever know that I handmade that in my basement ever. I am almost positive. And you guys, it was a pleasure sharing my crafts with you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you stayed this long. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit that bell for all so you're notified whenever I post new DIYs, which are Mondays and Fridays, and I do wood signs on Wednesdays. And there is Hank in case you are a new subscriber. And if you stayed this long, I hope you enjoy the little video I left for you. Okay. Oh, you smell him? Sniff him out. He's there somewhere. I think he smells you. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he would never eat you. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's really eating. More like licking. Oh, he said, lift up your arm, little boy.